Sure. Um, my name is Mandy Howland, and we are here with the Animal Innovation Show. And I'm very glad to be here. Tell us who you are and how you're innovating and helping animals. I'm helping animals by giving free veterinary care to pets of the homeless. Uh, and that's that's the quick answer. The longer answer is that um, I started and co-own a company called Elevet Sciences, where we make uh, CBD for, for pets. And part of our original mission was, of starting this company was to do something for the community. And we weren't sure what that was going to be, but during the pandemic, we started thinking about all of the pets that were and people that were unable to utilize the free services um, to tell, to care for their pets, the low income and the homeless. There were a lot of people that were very willing to come out and, and do it. Um, once the pandemic started to wane a little bit, the veterinarians were slammed. Um, as I, you know, I think there's been a lot of articles and talk about, you know, how veterinarians and doctors are just were absolutely overwhelmed, burned out. So we found the second year to be challenging, uh, not because people didn't want to do it, but because they just didn't have the bandwidth to do so. I call it the sort of antidote to compassion fatigue, because it's just, I mean, you're, you very rarely get a chance to help somebody change somebody's life right then and there. And that's for the pets and for the people. Yeah, I was going to say, that's what's so cool about this mission is you're helping animals, but you're also helping the people at the same time. We, we didn't really know the impact on the humans' lives that, that we were going to have. So we fully expected we'd be out doing uh, wound care or you know basic vet med um, vaccines, flea and tick preventatives, skin issues, any you know um, just any kind of wounds and and fully expected to see emergencies and situations like that. But what we didn't really realize is that a lot of people, they can't get into a shelter without their dog having been fully vaccinated. I was going to say, you must have some stories. Is there any stories that you're comfortable sharing? Yes. Well, it's like, where do you even start? But um, we went for the first time to a Native American reservation. We went to the Crow Reservation in Montana. Uh, and that we really did not know what to expect, but we had heard that there was a great need. So we, so we were, were happy to go there. There were many dogs that were, there were many really wonderful caring pet owners there that came for services. But then we found many animals that were just running loose that were, um, you know, puppies or uh, we're not even sure where they came from, but they were, um, they were just, they didn't have a home. We had a couple of dogs that the team could not leave behind. Uh, one dog had been attacked by a large animal. We don't know what had just had his tail bitten off and had all kinds of wounds and just really not in great shape. Um, and then a second dog that was in a similar circumstance, these dogs had never been inside in their entire lives, but our team was like, you know what? we're going to, we're going to take them back with us from, and that was, that was the last trip on that tour to um, back to Maine from Montana. So that was, that was very adventurous following, um, following their journey across the country, trying to you know, have IVs and all kinds of medical care going on. But uh, they had, they had a great trip back. We found some incredibly loving homes for them. Um, the team still, you know, we get updates and they visited so every dog that you help, that makes a difference. Yeah. So now what states have you guys visited? It sounds like you've had, you call them tours. So how many tours have you guys done? Primarily, we will we'll tend to start um, the West Coast tour sometime in May. So okay. around uh, Memorial Day-ish or earlier. So that's when we start in Southern California. We kind of make our way all the way up the coast. Um, we go to places like um, well, first San Diego, Los Angeles, of course, we go to Skid Row multiple times, um, Stockton, Modesto, Sacramento, Fresno, um, and we go up to to Seattle, oh, Bakersfield, we spend a good amount of time in Bakersfield. So what is the vision? What does the future look like for this? Well, we um, were very excited about partnering with vet schools and uh, for, you know, for multiple reasons. We love having vet students on the van. We love that they, 
before they become veterinarians and have are in a practice, they know what's out in the community. Um, it really is great for their physical exam skills, but but more importantly, it kind of opens their eyes to what you know what's out there. So expanding that program with with vet students, um, we want to have more vans so that we can cover more parts of the country. And we would like to add spay and neuter services. Right now, we uh, we partner with some other organizations. We might try to plan our visit at the same time. There's a, a spay and neuter clinic going on. Um, we'll give out vouchers for spays and neuters, but of course, that's you know that's a huge that's a huge part of the problem. Um, and just 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 growing just growing it and going wherever wherever we're needed. Well, Mandy, if people are watching and listening, I mean, maybe they're with a business or maybe they want to be an individual donor, how can they get involved? How can they support? Uh, we would love to talk to anybody um, that would like to either to get involved, to make a donation. Um, we love to work with companies. It's uh, the elevetproject.org is our website. And we have um, uh, our social media is Elevet Project. We're on Instagram mostly, um, and Facebook. And again, donations is what keeps us going because we are a 501 C3. So it's, it's very much appreciated. Yes, for sure. Well, I really appreciate you coming on. I really appreciate what you're doing. And, you know, as I wrap up the show, I just love to remind our viewers and listeners that innovation starts with an idea. And Mandy was watching and said, Hey, look, somebody needs to do something. So maybe you're watching, listening, and you've got an idea for, a product, a service, anything that helps animals or the people that love them, we'd love to know about it. Just go to innovations.show and we'd love to have you on the show. And of course, we can always use more Dubertiers. You can sign up for free at Dubert.com. You can be a foster or a transporter. You can even buy your pet food through Dubert and we'll donate 5% of your order to the organization that you choose. So check it out for free at Dubert.com. Mandy, thank you again. Thank you for coming on and thank you for everything that you're doing. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Thanks. Thanks.